a warm welcome for everyone to session number 36 in the part of react learning series in this session we will continue our discussion about custom hooks in react in the last video we had discussed about how to create custom hooks in react and how to reuse the code across components assume that we have opened a mobile app from our phone and we are trying to book a ticket or we are trying to place one order using our mobile app. Imagine that we have lost the internet connectivity all of a sudden. Then that mobile app shows us a message that we don't have the internet connection. Please check and try again. We see this functionality in many mobile apps we use in our day to day life. We have been asked to implement that in one of our projects. There are hundreds of such common examples we come across when we are developing a project. Let's take a look at another example. Let's say we have been asked to implement speech to text conversion in our project. When such commonly used functionalities are expected to be implemented in our project, there is a very high possibility that someone has already developed it and that is available over the internet so that we can use that functionality in our project rather than developing it again. There are many such custom hooks available on NPM which can be used in our projects rather than building a new hook. In this session, we will understand how to get such custom hooks from NPM and how to use them in our projects. Let's open a browser. We can visit a website called as npmjs.com and here we can search for the packages we wanted. Let's say we want to search for a package using which we can perform speech to text conversion. So we can search here. The package name is react-speech-kit and one can see the result here. Let's click on this and one can find the command using which we can install this package into our project using node.js command prompt. Let's open node command prompt. Let's run that command using which we can install that package into our demo project. So the command is npm space i space react speech kit. Let's press enter. Now the package is being installed into our demo project. Let's clear the screen. Now let's run our demo project using npm start command. Now let's open index.js file from our demo project using Visual Studio Code. Now let's import use speech recognition hook from React Speech Kit. Let's create one function component and we'll name it as app. Let's create one state variable in which we will store the converted text. We will call our use state hook. Now we will call use speech recognition hook. The use speech recognition hook returns an object that contains two functions. One is listen and the second one is stop so we say const listen stop these are two different functions listen function tells the browser to listen for audio coming from the mic stop function cancels listening for input coming from the mic and we call use speech recognition to this use speech recognition hook we have to pass one object. To this object, let's add one property called as onResult. And to this, we will pass a function. That function receives the speech which is converted to text as the input. And we can update this result into our state variable by calling setText method. And to that, we will pass this result. We have created one state variable called as text and a function to update that state variable. And then we have called 
use speech recognition hook to which we have passed one object which has a property called as unreserved when the conversion happens from speech to text we are updating that result to a text state variable by calling a function called as set text this use speech recognition hook returns one object and this object has two functions one is listen and the second one is stop now let's return one div container let's place one h2 element let's place one text area element in which we will display the converted output value is equals to we display the text here and then we will place two buttons one button will be used to listen for the speech and the other button will be used to stop listening to the speech let's handle on click event and we will call listen function let's give the text as listen and let's place another button and we will call stop function and let's give the text as stop now we will call this app component and we will render that to our root container Save the changes. Navigate to the browser. We can see the output here. After we click on listen button, what we speak will be converted into the text until we click on stop button. Let's go ahead and click on listen button. Now this speech will be converted into text, and I click on stop. One can see that. as we keep speaking the converted text will be displayed in the text area element we have discussed about one custom hook called as react speech kit and there are many such hooks available over npm one can make use of based on the need if we want to find out the network status we can use network status hook and if we want to store the data into the local storage we can use local storage hook we can also create custom hooks and we can publish them onto npm as well thank you for watching this video and have a great day